to get to the top. God is not interested in taking selfish people to the top where his best blessed best blessings are. And he says, I'll make you the head and not the tail as you observe what I've asked you to do. But then, number three, we must demonstrate our willingness to be a servant rather than to be served. <laughs> We've got church people today who want to be served. They want to be served. And if you don't serve them, they'll stop coming to church. If you don't serve them, they'll sit down on you and won't work in the church. Don't you know that every part of our body has something to perform? There's always something for you to do in your church. Look at verses 6 and 7. Who being in the form of God, we knew he was God. John chapter 1 in his prologue said he was with God and he was God. We know he was God and thought it not robbery to be equal with God. He didn't get out of his lane. He didn't get out of his place. He was the son under the father. And he never tried to play the role of the father. But yet he said the father and I are one. And so he didn't try to rob the father. Look at verse number seven. But being him, but made himself of no reputation, took upon him the form of a doulos, a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. Now that's where you and I come in. Jesus looked just like us, but yet he had the spiritual nature of his father. He looked just like you and me. He walked, he ate, he slept just like me, but yet he was God. And yet if God could be a servant, what about you? We've got too many egos in the church today as if you are better than some other church member. We must be of one mind for one common bond. And so we must be servants. And even